Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Abe with MysticGenMara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And today I would like to offer your weekly rune reading for the elemental energies for the week of August 25th through the 31st. This is the last week of August already. I want to refund on the last six months. I don't remember them. <laughs> So, um, if you're interested as to why I read for the runes, uh, there's a video linked in the description. You can check that out. Um, also, if you want to know what your elemental balance is for your zodiac, um, you can check out the natal interpretation. It's not a sponsorship or anything like that, but it is a really good product. They give you your um, astrology chart, but then they also go through your elemental alignment, what does that mean, all of the little details from all the little bits and pieces in there. Um, the one that I linked gives you the chart, and then it's between 10 and 20 pages of really good information. So, other than that, we'll get started here with, and I go through the cycle of the zodiac, I just don't read for the zodiac. <laughs> uh, so we'll start with our fire family. Fire covers the zodiac of Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And fire, <laughs> you have an interesting start to your week. Your first rune is the void rune. It, this is fate. It is uh, mystery, fate, the unknown, having faith and trust. They're also, when I say they, my guides, are saying that this week, fire, you kind of can write your own ticket. There's a lot of things that are available to you and it's definitely a good week to follow your inner guidance follow your intuition but with the uh, word rune or fate rune coming forward you're going to know the right step because fate's already put everything in motion there's not a lot of extra information that you need um, but let's check your second rune we have othila ancestral property color of deep yellow tarot association is the moon astrology is the full moon so this is possessions, inheritance, real property, inheriting abilities or traits. So when you have fate and um, Othila, I couldn't see the name, <laughs> coming forward, we have this image for fire that is, you can kind of write your own ticket, but understand there are certain things that will be happening this upcoming week that are... The obvious next steps they're almost like they're fated to occur they're also saying that this could be a week where your uh, intuitive abilities could be stepping up especially if there's someone in your family an ancestral line mom dad grandparents great-grandparents who had certain abilities they were seers they were healers they were herbalists this could be the week for that information to really anchor in for you uh, which is really fascinating and kind of fun too. Uh, I'm constantly being told that <laughs> I've got a lot of my particular uh, talents from one of my great grandmas, so that always makes me feel special. But they're also saying that there could be uh, some kind of other inheritance coming forward, but it's really about the bloodline is what I'm hearing specifically. The other stuff is possible, but your focus or the thing that is going to is coming forward the most is the bloodline. So it's something to do with uh, your clairs and inherited ability or talent, but it's going to come to you in such a way that this is the only obvious option. And it's going to be very comfortable in that respect. There may be some discomfort before it shows up, but when it does, it'll be like, oh, okay, that's what that was all about. Uh, but that's kind of the energy that's coming forward. So. But you, can, you do have a say in it. The fates weave a web, yes, but we still have options whether or not to take certain paths. So just because it's fated doesn't mean that there's no other option there. There's always another option, it just may not be the most comfortable one. <laughs> uh, let's hop over to our Earth family. And Earth covers Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Earth, your first rune believe this is the thorn rune, but uh, let's double check. Do, 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 do. Nope, wrong one. <laughs> this is Thuris, Thurisaz, god of strength, color of bright red, tarot association is the emperor, astrology is Mars. So, Earth, this is going to be an interesting week for you so far. Protection, someone 
may provide or help good things coming. When you work with the God of Strength, when you work with Mars or the Emperor, you're working directly with the Divine Masculine Energy. And when you work with the Divine Masculine, there's a lot of energy that flows in, and it's not the subtle energy of the Divine Feminine. It's not that more comforting one. It's very aggressive almost. There's also a hint of authoritarianism that comes with it. But when you have that, it also is calling you to be the best version of yourself. It's calling you to defend the weak, to protect those who need protection. And when I say that that way, they're really being specific. You're not protecting someone who chooses not to take care of themselves. You're actually protecting someone who is weaker. You're protecting someone, like if you look into um, some of the biblical stuff, the the widows and the young children. It's that kind of thing. It's not, oh, I'm protecting them, but they don't need the protection. They're just choosing not to take care of themselves. That is going to <laughs> upset what uh, energy is coming in. You definitely want to make sure that you're protecting the right thing this week. Your second rune for Earth, because that does, even though it's a fire, divine, masculine energy, the the impression that they're giving me is this is very much within earth's domain of being a protector the hearth the home keeping things secured there that's the energy that's coming up your second rune pardon me is manaz the man rune uh, color of deep red tarot association is the magician astrology is jupiter humankind deep wisdom held in the body mind and spirit the body and mind are one knowledge memory interdependence of the masculine and feminine so even though the dominant energy this week is going to be the divine masculine you also have jupiter coming in who's also masculine but jupiter's a bit more playful a bit more relaxed and more um, integrative so you're getting a balanced energy coming in so even if this week feels a little intense earth it's not meant to be solely one way you're going to be, be calling upon the Divine Masculine more so than the Divine Feminine, but they're also saying work with them together. Call in the Divine Masculine first, but invite the Feminine to help. When you're dealing with something that needs more assertiveness, more uh, this is how it's going to be, a little bit more dominant energy, bring in that Mars uh, energy, that Emperor energy. Work with Thurazaz in that aspect. But when that situation's over, bring in the Manaz energy, the Jupiter energy, and stabilize things. So it's not as uh, one-sided type of a thing. With the Magician also, because the Magician is kind of key to this, the Magician says you have all of the tools available to you. You have everything that you're going to need to move forward healthily and with balance. So yes call that energy up it's a tool to be used but also know how to bring it back and rein it in when it's no longer necessary so let's hop over to where are we at air <laughs> hello there um and air covers gemini libra and aquarius so air family we have do -do -do -do. the burkana rune this is a birth rune Color is dark green. Tarot association is the Empress. Astrology, Virgo. So you're working with your enemy here, basically, because air and earth do not get along. And Virgo is earth. Uh, renewal, promise of new beginnings, new growth, birth, family, and the home. Air, this is saying there's a lot of fertility available to you. That doesn't always mean um, physical pregnancy. The fertility could also be a fert fertile uh, environment to work in. Your creative spark it could be lit up this week on a different level but you also are working with empress so you've got that divine feminine coming in and if by some chance your you as air are tied to earth as your partner you've got that balance of masculine and feminine uh, energy going on this week so if you happen to be in that type of a situation it could be a little bit of a intense part and what they're sh saying, well, they're showing me too, but we'll say it, <laughs> is that it's going to be a very adventurous but very positive connection if there's an air-earth connection going on. So 
if that's where things are going for you, this week is going to be very positive. But back to earth or back to air <laughs> with the empress you're also working that divine masculine or divine feminine energy your second rune is the iwas rune it's the yew tree color of dark blue tarot association is the hanged man astrology is scorpio protection a time of death and rebirth foresight and perseverance air you have a very interesting week because you have burkana calling in birth fertility growth expansions new things occurring but you have Iowas coming in saying, yeah, to get to there, you're going to have to clear some stuff out. So there's a hanged man of viewing things from another perspective. But they're also saying this is a time for that death period of what's not working any longer. You're in a very open space to grow. But sometimes you have to pull the weeds out of the garden to get your other plants to grow. And that's what Eowaz is coming in to say is this week you have a lot of good ideas, a lot of good options. Start with house cleaning. <laughs> clean out the stuff. That doesn't mean physical unless you need to. But clean out the stuff that's no longer working. Is there a habit that maybe needs to be meditated on, removed, cleared out? Is there an old art project that you're just never going to finish? Maybe donate it to a local school or something and let them have the bits and bobs because it's not something you're going to do if it's um, like yarn art crochet knit if you're never going to if it's if you lost the vibe tear it apart reuse the yarn for something else if it's a painting wipe that thing over start over they're saying that there's a period of something has to be kind of let go of or um, seen from a different perspective uh, to allow the new to come in this week and it doesn't have to be big they're not saying it's big stuff but it's definitely pay attention to those things as you go through this week so let's finish off with our water family water covers cancer scorpio and pisces so our little fishy family here we have your first rune is Algees, which is a protection rune. Color is gold. Tarot association is the moon. Astrology is cancer. So if you're cancer in this, this is definitely a pointing to you as the, <laughs> the energy that's coming forward. It's protection from danger, resisting temptation. New beginnings are possible. When this one comes forward, it doesn't come forward that often. It's saying you're in the midst of some things going on water things that you're not sure how to handle there's a lot of options there's some good things don't get me wrong but you have so many options that you may feel like you have to sacrifice something to move forward that you have to give up something that is near and dear to your heart to be able to achieve those goals what algae is saying is that's not always necessary those goals, if they're in line with you and this other thing is in line with you, there's a way to merge them together and move forward with that. It doesn't mean it's going to be an easy path because that's not the vibe that's coming up. But with the moon as the tarot, you're also being called to use your intuition, use your inner guidance. Is that thing that you're wanting, that big goal over there that you're aiming at, the one that's causing the disruption, is it worth it? Is it really what you want or is this one of those things that people tell you you're supposed to want? Is this one of those things that you're doing it because others, oh, this is what you have to do? Or is it something that you actually desire yourself because that's the energy that's coming forward. The allergies room is going to protect you either way, but sometimes that protection is allowing you the silence, the quiet, the stillness to be able to really examine the situation and make an in, um, more informed decision. Your second rune is the Anzus rune. It is ancestral with the god Odin. So there's some wisdom coming through. That's a good thing. Uh, color of dark blue. Tarot association is death. Astrology is mercury. This is an interesting rune. Signifies wisdom, help from someone older. It means magic, psychic power, or initiation. Well, you have some powerful runes this week. I mean, they're all powerful in their own way, but this combination is unique, in my opinion. Um, because you have the death rune in this guy here. And with the Anzus rune coming through with death card and Mercury, things are changing. They're changing rapidly, and you may not be able to catch your breath. But you also have the protection of 
uh, Anzus or Algae is over here, but you also are working with the god Odin. There's a lot of intelligence and there's a lot of aid that's available to you at this point. And I'm talking in a more spiritual sense. You might have some physical help, uh, uh, advice, or people you can turn to. But what's going on this week? There's things are going to be moving quickly. Things are moving in a way that you feel like you're out. Of, they're out of control. That you're heading towards a dark place. Death card. But Mercury is saying it's happening fast. But Odin is there to help guide you. But you also have the protection runes. This week. Water this week is going to be an interesting week. It's going to be a little bit hectic. It's going to be a little bit frustrating at times. There's going to be fast movements, movements that you may not fully understand in this particular second in time. Understand that you have the wisdom available to you to move forward with intelligence, grace, and strength. You're protected and you're guided by very powerful energies. The death card just means something has to come to an end. It doesn't mean it's the only option that you're giving up here but it's with the cancer and moon energy as well follow your inner guidance odin will speak to you the runes talk to us all the time we always are getting signs symbols from the angels this week in particular water it looks like it's going to be an interesting week just because of the intensity of everything but understand you're protected and if you take the time to quiet and ground the path forward will seem less daunting and you'll be able to see a path through it but in this particular energy between these two especially it's intense there's a lot going on here and it's not it's not bad but this is going to set you up for going forward there is uh, a merging of lines there's emerging of desires there's emerging of dreams that is occurring this week um, and for water that means when you come out of this week decisions will have been made those things that are currently bothering you are not going to bother you anymore because it's no longer within the sphere of your influence so with that any Overall this week, stay grounded. You're protected. You are loved by the Lord and the Lady, the God and the Goddess, however you see the Divine. And with that protection, that love, that guidance, follow the signs and symbols that you see. They are always around us. And the Divine has an interesting way of dropping things in your path when you're not really expecting it. And this week is going to be one of those weeks where all of the elements are going to be getting those little surprises and hints to remind them you are okay everything's going the right way just keep your faith and stay grounded with that i will let you guys go have a great rest of your week and i will see you in the next video